Hi, fourth grade. This is Miss Erford. I miss you all so much. I hope you and your families are doing well. Thank you for watching our videos and doing your best to keep on learning during this time. It's Thursday, and here's another math problem of the day. This one is about geometry. Today's focus is geometry, and our problem has three parts. To answer the questions, you'll need to think about the properties and classification of two-dimensional shapes. Before we start this problem, I want you to remember that there are many ways to draw different shapes, but these pictures are just examples. Part 1. Rick drew a rhombus. What other term could you use to describe what Rick drew based on what you know about quadrilaterals? A. Parallelogram B. Pentagon C. Trapezoid D. Hexagon Part 2. Sally drew a quadrilateral. Which of the following must be true about what Sally drew? A. The opposite sides are parallel. B. Each side is the same length. C. There are four right angles. D. There are four sides. Part 3. Way to show that persistence, Kipsters. Lacey drew a trapezoid. Which of the following must be true about what Lacey drew? A. There is at least one right angle. B. One pair of sides is parallel. C. There are no right angles. D. Three of the sides are the same length. Take as much time as you need to pause the video and record your answers. We'd love to see them in the comments as well. Make sure you choose the best answer for each part. Let's review part one. This quadrilateral hierarchy will help us answer the question. A quadrilateral is any four-sided polygon or four-sided shape. But then we can break that down into smaller categories like a kite, trapezoid, and parallelogram. Parallelograms have two pairs of parallel sides. Then beneath that, we see a rhombus and a rectangle. The difference being a rhombus has four sides that are all equal, and a rectangle has opposite sides that are equal or the same length. Rectangles also have four right angles, which is not a property of a rhombus. So another way to rhombus this question is, a rhombus has all the properties of what other type of shape? Use the hierarchy to think about that answer. A rhombus has all the properties of a parallelogram, which is why it falls under that subcategory of quadrilaterals. So if Rick drew a rhombus, you could also describe what he drew as a parallelogram. Let's determine the answer to part two. Sally drew a quadrilateral. The definition of a quadrilateral is a four-sided polygon, a four-sided shape. So which of the following must be true about what Sally drew? Does it have to have opposite sides that are parallel? It could, but it doesn't have to just to be a quadrilateral. Does each side have to be the same length? Again, it could. A square is a type of quadrilateral, but not all quadrilaterals are squares. There are four right angles. Does it have to have four right angles? Again, it could, but it doesn't have to. The only property needed to make a shape a quadrilateral is that there are four sides. So D is the correct answer. Lastly, let's review part three. Lacey drew a trapezoid. A trapezoid is a quadrilateral with exactly one pair of parallel sides. So which of the following must be true about what Lacey drew?
Again, according to the definition, one pair of sides is parallel. So the correct answer is B. Lacy drew a trapezoid, meaning it has one pair of sides that are parallel.